At the gate, there are angels of God there. Amen. Amen. You see, there is a force. He wants to go out. Why there is force pushing him back? Estamos viendo este hombre poseído con espíritu. Be between outside and inside. Zooming back into the church and able to move out. The Bible says, Behold, I have given you authority. And this authority given to you, you are here in his presence. Means whatever you lose, shall be lost in heaven. Yeah. And whatever Satan must have burned in your life, right now it is time to lose it. Yeah. I want you to stretch your hand and begin to deliver whatever that is not of Jesus within you. Begin to deliver whatever that is not of Jesus. Es tiempo de desatar lo que Satanás ha atado en su vida. Estreche, chuma, estreche su mano y empieza a liberarse. Étendez la main. Tout ce que Satan avait lié, déliez-le au nom de Jésus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hand forward. Those spirits that kill, steal and destroy. Right now begin to deliver them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver them in the name of Jesus. Deliver them in the name of Jesus. Estreche su mano adelante y empieza a liberar todo espíritu que roba, mata y destruye. Mena todo espíritu que viene por ti y derrubar. Chasele en el nombre de Jesús. En el mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, all the contrary spirit within outside. Holy Ghost fire! Yeah. Stretch your hand forward. Holy Ghost fire! Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Out! Out! In the name of Jesus! Out! In the name of Jesus. Open your lips, open your lips, open your lips. Abra sus labios y empiece a echarlos afuera en el nombre de Jesús. Ouvrez vos lèvres et chassez tout esprit qui n'est pas de Dieu. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Right now, know your neighbor's hand and begin to rebook whatever that is not of Jesus. Begin to be delivered. Deliver it. Deliver it. Deliver it. Deliver it. Sostenga la mano de su vecino y empiece a echar fuera todo lo que no es plantado por Jesucristo. À la maison, priez pour votre voisin, chassez tout esprit qui n'est pas de Dieu. Priez pour ton voisin à la maison. Priez pour la personne qui est à côté de toi, toi qui regarde la télévision. Priez. Priez pour celui qui est à côté de toi et chasse tout esprit qui n'est pas de Dieu. Priez les uns pour les autres et que Dieu va vous délivrer. Watch the screen of the television set and see what is happening. As you are commanding out everything that is not of Jesus Christ in the life of your neighbor, just watch the screen and see what is coming out of the life of this man. You can see what is vomiting out, everything that is not of God, the Spirit of God is uprooting it in the life of this man to set him free. There is another woman on the screen, and you can see what she's vomiting out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going somewhere. And when we get there, you will discover the weight in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Are you ready to go with me? Yeah. I want you to hold your neighbor. Your neighbor will be saying, whatever that is not of Jesus, your neighbor wants to deliver it in the name of Jesus and to deliver you, and you deliver him. And if there is nothing in you or in him where 
within your business whatever that has to do with you that is possessed you want to deliver them right now face your neighbor hold your neighbor hand and begin to deliver your neighbor and your neighbor will begin to deliver you in the name of jesus christ whatever that is not of jesus i command out the name of jesus out in the name of jesus Enfrente a su vecino y empieza a comandar fuera todo lo que no es plantado por Jesucristo. Ore. Prie por tu vecino. Todo lo que no es de Jesús, chasle. Prie por tu vecino. Prende la mano de la persona que te toca y chasle todo lo que no es de Dios. Ouvre la boca y prie por tu vecino. Prende la mano de tu vecino. Et commande à tout esprit qui n'est pas de Dieu de quitter ton voisin au nom de Jésus. Priez les uns pour les autres et regardez vos écrans. Watch the screen and see the reaction of this In man. In Jesus' name. Amen. Watch this man. Watch, Watch this screen. man. Observez la pantalla. Regardez vos écrans. You have the spirit of pythons. These are the different things that are tormenting people. It is the spirit in him trying to escape the fire of the Holy Spirit. The evil spirit makes the man crawl towards the door. Is it going now? Open the door, let's see. Open it. Uh -huh. Let's see where it's going. At the gate, there are angels of God there. Amen. You see that it's a force. He want to go out. Why does force put him back? Estamos viendo este hombre poseído con espíritu. Between outside and inside. Let me tell you, there's an angel there. He's not able to get out. Zoom him back into the church and able to move out. The young man continues to manifest the contrary spirit in his life. He makes a move to run and falls over. As he tries to leave the church, he is bowled over backwards by an invisible force. Crawling round, he makes another attempt to run, but he is blocked by the power of the Holy Spirit. Crawling again, he moves over to the side, seizes a handbag, and tries another approach, covering his head with the bag. But once again, he is struck down. Uh, uh, Who are you? I am the Legion. 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 Get me out of here. <coughs> uh, this boy is too much. What is your intention here today? I'll kill his father. I'll kill his father. Father. Father, force him to come here. I'll kill that man. Uh, we listen to their confession later. We see how in love way. We are doing deliverance now. I want you to still face your neighbor. Your confession is what God says about your situation. Whatever you say now about your situation is what God says. Your confession is your present attitude towards God. The confession of your lips to have your heart full agreement so whatever you want to say now to agree with your lips so therefore and i want to tell you that what you say any moment from now it is not your words it is the word the lord put in your mouth don't doubt it right now in the mighty name of jesus christ Whatever you say here shall be said in heaven. Amen. Whatever you lose here shall be lost in heaven. Amen. Right now, open your lips and begin, begin to deliver whatever that is not of Jesus within and outside you and your neighbor. Prayer. In the name of Jesus. Elle la bouche et prie. Prie pour ton voisin. Tout ce qui n'est pas de Dieu, à l'intérieur, à l'extérieur, commande de sortir au nom de Jésus. Empiece a liberar cualquier cosa que no venga de Jesús. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
whatever that is not of Jesus in your life be it in your head in your career in your business in your finances in your marital life right now begin to rebook it out say out 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 in the name of Jesus out In Jesus' name, I say, whatever that is not of Jesus in your life, be delivered, be delivered, be delivered, spirit of killing. Stealing no. in your life, no. in your business, no. in your career, no. in your marital life, no. in your finances, no. in your business, no. in your career. Anywhere you are by faith, I'm laying my hand in the right hand of God upon you and I'm deliver you from whatever that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spirit that is not of Jesus, whatever that is not of Jesus, let the will of God be done in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are the people we could not allow to enter the church because the nature of their sickness and others. They are here. Look at them. They have been delivered. Those who ate poison. During the mass prayer, people arranged for the prayer line begin to receive their healing. Stretch your hand towards viewers at home. Viva, we want to say thank you for being part of our broadcast today. You will be blessed right now. Be in one accord with us. You have partner around you. You watch the Imani TV. You just grab your partner right now. We want to pray for you. Right now, we threat of our right hand, whatever that is not of God in your life, be declared free in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. You are declared free in the name of Jesus. You are released in the name of Jesus. Be it in your head. Whatever spirit that kill, that steam, that destroy, I deliver you in the name of Jesus. I deliver you in the name of Jesus. I deliver you in the name of Jesus. Right now, whatever that is loose, be banned. Whatever that is banned, be loosed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be it in your marital life. Be it in your health. Be it in your finances. Be it in your business. Be it in your career. Be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the people of God say hallelujah. Did hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Let us ask this guy, you are the one that causing trouble during the service, running up and down. What's your problem? Who are you? My name is Chigozie Igwe Madu. I am from um, Anambra State. Um, I, I actually came to church today because my father has been pressurizing that I should come to a synagogue church. A lot has been happening to me of late. Uh, my father is not in Nigeria, basically, but for like 24 years now um, I've been having this spirit inside of me I don't know when I sleep most times at night I I don't sleep straight I cuddle I um, I see things in my dream like the legion they I hear the words legion and you mean you don't sleep straight 
I don't sleep straight. Oh yeah, come and sleep here. Let's see how you sleep. Sleep the way you sleep. Watch the screen showing us the position you used to be when sleeping. Nearly everybody sleeps like this. When you feel cold, you sleep like this. You fold yourself. That's all. It's a normal way of sleeping. People no, sleep like that. That's I cuddle in order for me to whenever I do it, I get in contact with them when I dream. Here the snakes, um, six of them, the legion. I get in contact with it and this snakes inside of me has been making me do a lot of things. Um, evil things that words could not even tell. And I've been criticizing the church here, synagogue. Even my landlady is in support of it. My cousin, the way I'll say he's fake. My father called and said, you must go to that church and get delivered. He has done all things. He has taken me to herbal homes. And when the man of God started praying today, the next thing I did is I stood up and I wanted to leave the church. I, I was pulling my shoes and I wanted to leave. Immediately as I was about leaving, the man of God, as if he knew, he said, hold the partner beside you, hold his hands and start praying. And I was struggling to leave. Right now, face your neighbor, face your neighbor. Hold your neighbor's hand. Hold your neighbor's hand. Right now, open your lips and begin, begin to deliver whatever that is not of Jesus within and outside you and your neighbor. Prayer. In the name of Jesus. As I was struggling to leave, the guy beside me said, didn't you hear? The man of God said, we should hold hands and pray. I was like, please, I'm late. I'm running. I'm going somewhere. I I'm late. And he held my hand and we started praying. Instead of me, I was like, ah, please, this prayer section should be over so that I'll just dash out and prove to my father that Prophet T.B. Joshua cannot change the way I am. And all of a sudden, I saw him. I don't know how come. I saw him wearing a white garment in front of where I was sitting there. And I saw him standing and he said, you spirit out. The next thing I saw was me under the chair and... I started looking for a way out. I was crawling. I could not hear the voices. I could not hear what I was saying, but I was crawling. I was trying to leave. Then I saw some men standing wearing white, just at that door and that extreme one there. It is the spirit in him. Trying to escape the fire of the Holy Spirit, the evil spirit makes the man crawl towards the door. Is it going now? Open the door. Let's see. Open it. Uh -huh. Let's see where he's going. At the gate, there are angels of God there. Amen. You see that it's a force. He wants to go out. Why does force put him back? Estamos viendo este hombre poseído con espíritu. Be between outside and inside. So what happened? He announced the back. He now pushed the safety. Zooming back into the church and able to move out. L'homme ne pouvait pas s'enfuir parce qu'il annonce de. The young man continues to manifest the contrary spirit in his life. He makes a move to run and falls over. As he tries to leave the church. He is bowled over backwards by an invisible force. Crawling round, he makes another attempt to run, but he is blocked by the power of the Holy Spirit. Crawling again, he moves over to the side, seizes a handbag, and tries another approach, covering his head with the bag. But once again, he is struck down. <laughs> Who are you? I am the Legion. 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 Get me out of here. <coughs> uh, this power is too much. What is your intention here today? I'll kill his father. I'll kill his father. Father. Father, force him to come here. I'll kill that man. Uh, 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 uh. And they were holding um, a torch, uh, a fire burning on a stick like that of the Olympic the one they carry around during the Olympic and they were saying go back go back and those are the words I could hear angels with fire and all that and I 
I don't know. Right now, I believe it's no longer fake. When you are running out and you are coming back, what happened? Tell us your experience. I saw men wearing white, light in complexion, and they were carrying a stick with fire. Touch. It's no fake. It's true. I need deliverance. Please. It's 24 years now. My parents are tired of me. I want to be healed. I, I'm a young man that needs help. Please, Pastor, deliver me. With a word, Prophet T.B. Joshua delivers the young man in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, open your lips and give thanks to God. The day you will know T.B. Joshua, that is the day you will destroy T.B. Joshua. What you don't understand, you call names. What you understand, you destroy. It takes the grace of holiness to do this. Grace of holiness, and that grace comes from God. Holiness, holy, holy, holy. To deal with darkness, it takes the grace of holiness. My name is Chigose Gwemadu. I'm from Anambra State. I've been having this problem in my life. Uh, basically, I've been uh, having this problem at night when I sleep. When I sleep, I cuddle, and when I cuddle, it makes me see things I don't want to see, like snakes, which, um, which they call themselves legions, they are about six, and this makes me, most times, I hate sleeping at night. Now these evil spirits that possessed your life, explain what were the negative effects they had. A lot. I did a lot of couple of things. I did a lot of things that... And uh, not to glorify God, I, I do lots, lots of things, abominable things. I traveled out and was sent back again. I, I, I've done a lot, but yet not moving. A lot of negative things in my life, it cost me. So just explain, when you were going through this, uh, this time and you were possessed with these evil spirits, where had you gone to to try and find a way out and get solution? Well, uh, I've gone to lots of places, a lot. Um, um, from my father, my mother, we've gone to different churches, traditional homes, but eventually all to no avail. I'm still the same way I am. So what then led you to be here today at the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Well, I would say I was just being too proud. I was trying to let my father know that the synagogue could do nothing to change my life even when he was worrying you have to go to that man of god if you don't go to him emmanuel the church synagogue if you don't go there i'm not going to see you as my son again and all that so i had to come here to prove to him that there's nothing he can do because i myself my friends my landlady we all say the church is of no good and i'm not sure they they do they, they, they do real things they heal with the power of God but today it's a different encounter entirely so just explain what what then happened when you later saw the man of God wow it was wonderful when I saw him coming I was so scared even when he was not close to me a lot happened how much more when I stand in his front so I it baffled me and when he said come closer I was scared but I know I was prepared for deliverance and when he asked me what I wanted, I said, of course, man of God, please deliver me. And he said, I should receive the spirit of the God. And I did. And when I did, I felt so light. And I found myself on the ground. I felt so light. And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a great experience because the burden was gone. It was no more. Praise God for this wonderful deliverance. Indeed, after the prayer of the man of God, those evil spirits within you came out, left, and you are totally free now. Is that right? So free. So free. For those viewers out there, God is here. And that's the truth. Amen. Well, as we all know, there are, there are many living churches, uh, and we thank God that God has revealed this particular ministry to you. And we just want to encourage you to continue to follow our Lord Jesus Christ now that you have received your deliverance today in his holy name. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come as you continue to make God's word the standard for your life and follow his ways.
Amen. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.